going to Radio City. Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Rachel. I'm Ellie. It's Michelle. My name is Savannah. It's Caroline here and in today's video we're going to be talking about our experiences auditioning for the world Radio City Clara and the Christmas Spectacular. I auditioned for Radio City Clara three times. All three times though I auditioned with Rachel. I believe I auditioned for the part four times. I only auditioned one year that I can remember. I was really happy to make it to the end. My last year that I could have auditioned for it, I was at World Ballet Competition. After that, I was too tall. I have actually auditioned for the role five times. The very first time that I auditioned was in 2015. I had just turned 10 years old and it was actually on my mom's birthday. I was just going to the audition because, you know, it's in New York City, which is pretty close to where we live. The day of the audition, we went to Yumiko because I wanted to pick out a new leotard to wear. I wore my hair in a high ponytail and then I wore a little pink skirt. I wanted to make it past the first cut which is usually a chape. That was kind of my goal. From there they do a really really big cut. The day just kept going. They kept making more cuts. By the end of the day, little Rachel was still there. I probably didn't even understand what was going on. Then we got like our measurement and stuff. We had to fill out some paperwork and that was the audition. About a month later after the audition is when I got the call. I really couldn't believe it. I actually got Claire with Kayla Mack, who has been my inspiration since I can remember. I would always steal my dad's phone and I would watch all of Kayla Mack's solos. I also got Claire with one of my best friends, Lexi Hoffman, who I met at the audition. The first time I auditioned for Clara, I was 10 years old and it was actually at the New York City Dance Alliance Nationals in New York City. I got cut. Um, I wasn't very good. It was a good experience to kind of know how the process worked. At the audition, Catherine Herlin, who is actually a newly promoted principal with American Valley Theater, she was actually at the audition. And so that was kind of intimidating because she was absolutely amazing and still is, of course. I've been auditioning for many years since I was like seven or eight because I just came along with Rachel and I got cut on the second one so thankfully I made it through the escapade but then I got cut. I was like nine years old, my first audition. When you walk in and there's a bunch of people it's obviously overwhelming. All the people that are auditioning for like the same thing that you are and there's only like three spots. I got cut after the first round then I was crying. So depressing. I feel like it's better to have a sibling do Radio City than actually do it yourself. Then you get all the fun stuff and you get to like watch the show a lot of times and you know like see behind the scenes. Even if you get Claire you have to go back and audition every single year. I went back to audition the second year. I had a really good audition. I got the call again that I got Clara and I got it with my best friend Lexi. So we both got it two years in a row together. We also got it with McKenna Malonzo, who is also super talented. When I was 11, I actually auditioned twice. I auditioned at Radio City and I made it to the end. I auditioned again at NYCDA Nationals. I actually had to leave the audition a little bit early. That's never good for auditions, but they were like, oh, it's okay. We've seen everything that we needed to see of you. The next day, if not a few days later, my mom got the call that I was going to be Radio City Clara in Nashville, Tennessee. There was the New York City one, the Nashville, Tennessee one, which was at the Grand Ole Opry. One year they had it in Boston, they had it in Texas at one point, and then they had one that was on tour. I was with my grandparents at the M&M store when my mom called me and said that I got the role. And if you want to see more about what my experience and Rachel's were like being in the show, check out our Vlogmas Day 2 vlog from 2020. Rachel and I answered a bunch of questions. In 2021, I made it to the final 9 or 10. I was number one. I had to go first for everything, like three at a time or two, and we do it in the room and then circle back around in the hallway. I was the first person to ever audition the Ellie part, and we did it one by one. Then it was 2017, my third year auditioning, back again. I actually wore the same leotard that I wore in that second year. I could definitely feel that people knew who I was. They knew that I had been Clara for the past two years. I remember taking a lot of photos with people. When you get Clara and you come back to audition, they actually put you first. They kind of want you to be like the leader. I actually told one of my friends, Josabel Morton, that she should come audition. We both went to the audition together. The third year that I got the call, I actually got it with Josabella and Emerson. I had met Emerson 
on The Greatest Showman. We were both in the movie together. Second time audition, I was 11, I think. I made it to the end. It was really cool to make it to the end. Like, it felt really special. Rage got it that year, of course. And then the last time I auditioned, I was, I guess, 12. I think I got cut after the second round. Then I had to go to class at AT. Wait, I was going with my older sister, Savannah, and her Metro card didn't even work. I auditioned two more times after the year that I got the show in Nashville. I was getting taller. My goal was to maybe get it in New York City. Unfortunately, I never got the show again. Just like that realization that I hadn't been picked that year was pretty crushing. I just remember hugging my mom and crying. <laughs> the show is just absolutely incredible and anyone that ever gets to experience that, it's like addicting. <laughs> you have to move beyond that and know that that's not the end. There's endless opportunities. We went in for the fourth year, 2018. Everyone was just like, oh. Can this girl just stop auditioning? And then I got the call that I had gotten Radio City Claire for the fourth year. I think I set a record actually. Then there was 2019. I went to the Claire audition again for the fifth year in a row. I knew going into it that it would be risky. I was definitely getting taller. I was 14 years old, but you can never go back in time. And so what I really wanted to do was finish strong and I didn't want to regret not auditioning. So I decided to go to the audition. It was a really good audition. A couple months later, I found out that someone else had gotten the role and I had not gotten the call. Honestly, it was pretty shocking. One of the people on staff at Radio City actually emailed my mom just to thank me for all the years that I had done Claire, which was so sweet. Like Radio City never emails you for anything extra. Four years of doing Radio City Claire was definitely insane. If you don't get something or if something doesn't go your way, there's always something good that's gonna come out of it. I love you, you're gonna do great. did we were all in the room on the side and then we do it in the middle there's two days so if you make it to the end of day one you have callbacks and they don't cut anybody on the second day which is nice they said from friday to monday if you hadn't heard anything that was the time slot if they told you if you got it i didn't get it again this year sadly but i had a really fun experience and that was my radio city experience if there's any young girls out there that want to audition for the role of radio city clara i think you definitely should just go for the experience have a blast there's so much history in that building and it really is iconic enjoy the moment enjoy everything go and prepared be strong make sure to wear bright colors smile it's a happy show best of luck to anyone who is going to audition i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye get to the s page at s that i can't say anything today ellie <laughs> it's
Caroline. Hi, kids. Wait, no, that was the year after. Good. Do you know how many years I auditioned? Five. I have to get through all of them. <laughs> Not that you're gonna use any of that. How old was I in 2017? Rage, stop talking! You're being too loud. I know it's so I was a baby! I don't remember anything! Worst commute worst transportation system ever. Wow, that was really cheesy. Uh. Guys, go! Yay! Shablam! <gasps> oh my goodness, Michelle just won something. No, Rage, that doesn't make any sense. Stop. Guys, can you get out? I need to go, and Rachel got all the years I auditioned. So. Okay, like I was saying earlier. Ah! <laughs> so creepy. Voila. No! Yeah! Yeah, I'm right! I'm always right! Okay, Coco! Oh, wait. Ooh! <gasps> okay, bye.